Hello everyone and welcome to my guide on how to get incredibly fast EXP in Yokai Watch and the only thing you need is the Yokai camera and this video and well if you're watching this video you're already halfway done. So I recommend doing this if you've beaten the game or you really just need to level up some Yokai. Don't ruin this game for yourself. So first thing that we need to do is go into our Yokai camera and look at our daily challenge. Now your daily challenge may be different, but my current one is to snap a picture of a Kaden. Now if you're unfamiliar with this, basically every single day this Yokai cam will give you a different daily challenge. Here is a list of all the daily challenges in the game. Now, currently, I have the fifth one, which is to snap a Kaden. Now, what we're going for, for the sake of this video, is to snap a legendary yokai. So, I actually need to go back in time one day. The reason that it's so important to understand which yokai daily challenge you have is because no matter what, no matter if you change the day on your 3DS, this challenge is actually tied to the game's internal clock, which we cannot change. But we can, in fact, change our 3DS time and date. So before we go any further, keep in mind, for the sake of this video, you cannot use the same dates that I'm using. You basically have to come into the game, figure out which daily challenge you have, and then change your time. And yes, that does mean it will change every single day, so you need to make adjustments every 24 hours. But once you understand how far you are away from the fourth challenge snap, a legendary yokai, we can now go into our 3DS system settings and change the date. Now, I want to reiterate, you cannot use the same exact date that I am using in this video, because every 24 hours based on the game's internal clock, the challenge will change, and because I may have purchased my game on a different day than you did, you need to consult the graph to figure out how many days you need to add to your system's 3DS calendar. So let's consult the graph again. So let's say, for example, you had daily challenge number 64, snap a feline yokai. All you need to do is add four days to your calendar, and then your daily challenge will be snap a legendary yokai, which is what we want. This can be for any day, all you have to do is subtract and add until you get to number four. But since my daily challenge for today was to shoot a picture of a Kaden, and I want it to be a legendary yokai, the only thing I have to do is set my date back one day. That's it. Now the daily challenge will change when we boot up our game again. So, if you followed all the instructions so far when you boot up your yokai camera, your daily challenge will change, and no, this is not my face, this is a random man's picture from Japan, I assume, but he has a 99% chance to give you a legendary yokai when you take a picture of him. I do not know why this random guy does, but this is what we want to do. Now that we have completed the daily challenge for snapping a legendary yokai, we will get our five holy EXP orbs. So real quickly, I'm just going to display this guy's picture for you. Feel free to snap the video. You may have to tilt your screen a little bit to get it correct, but nine times out of ten, he will give you a legendary yokai. But let's say you want more than five holy EXP orbs. Well, we can do that. All you have to do is add 64 days to your 3DS's internal calendar. And once you've done this, the daily challenge will refresh, and you can do it again. Now, you don't have to keep adding 64 days till the year 2020. If you just save your two dates, you can keep going back and forth between the two and get as many EXP orbs as you'd like. So once you've acquired the amount of EXP orbs that you'd like through this method, you'll load your game again and be greeted by this, uh, Red Oni, who does not like that you keep changing the system's clock, but don't worry. That doesn't do anything, it's just kind of there to scare you, but yes, all you have to do now is come to this receptionist as soon as you're able to during the game to claim your yokai camera prizes, and this is how you get your EXP orbs into the game. And you can actually claim all the rewards at the same time. If you just keep using the method that I was using in this video and keep going between the two dates, you can get a lot of EXP orbs really, really quickly. So what do these EXP orbs do? Well, if you've not played Yokai Watch for a while, they give you 20k EXP a pop. Yeah. I am at the beginning of the game, and I have a level 50 yokai by using this method. Obviously, that's kind of not fun, but if you're trying to level up yokai later on in the game, this is a fantastic method to do it. There really aren't any downsides. However, this method is not exclusive just to the EXP orbs. In fact, you can complete any challenge as many times as you'd like to get a variety of items by using this method. It is super helpful, especially for getting those Crank Kai coins. In the description below, I've listed a website that has a ton of faces that you can shoot with your Yokai camera, and once you figure out which Yokai belongs to which face, you can use the list that I gave you to complete as many Yokai challenges as you'd like. 
But yeah, guys, it's really that easy to get an insanely high level in Yokai Watch. All you need to do is fiddle a little bit with your 3DS's clock and take a couple pictures. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and share it around. It helps me out a whole lot and I would really, really appreciate it. And if you do like Yokai Watch, I'm currently doing my Let's Play of it, which you can find right here. Also, make sure to be subscribed because I'm going to be doing a lot of really helpful yokai guides in the future, and I'm sure you don't want to miss that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.